please wake up. <laughs> we have a daughter. You really need to see how lovely she is. <laughs> and she smells so sweet. <laughs> she looks a lot like you too. <laughs> You'll have so much fun together. baby, but this is the first time you're sleeping near me. For the first time, I'm watching you while you're sleeping. Now I understand why it is I fell in love with you. Please wake up. You can love someone else if you want to. Love someone else, you give a please list. <laughs> Don't leave me like this. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Sarp. I'd like to ask you for a few days off, sir. What happened? You don't sound too good. My brother's been shot. He's in intensive care at the moment. What'd you just say, Amir? But how is he doing right now? He was operated on, but he's still not out of danger. He's in critical condition. I'm so sorry. But what exactly happened? I mean, who was it that shot him? A real estate agent from the neighborhood. My father committed suicide because of that man. Go ahead and be with your brother, all right, Amir? I'll call the accountant and have them send money over for you so you don't have to worry about the hospital costs. Uh, and don't waste any energy thinking about money because we'll handle everything for you. No, look, I didn't call you for that, Mr. Sarp. It's all right, really. All right, then. But you call me if you need anything at all, all right? You hear me? Okay, thank you. He's just lying there, Daria. It looks, it looks almost like he's dead. What the hell are you talking about, Kubra? God forbid, I swear. Everything is because of me. If we weren't ever together, then my father wouldn't have been mad at you get like that. But come on, Kubra. Then you wouldn't have had that darling baby now, would you? <sighs> my daughter won't have a father because of her grandfather. Oh, Sybil, come on, help me out here a little, please. Come on. Kubra's crying is really starting to get me down here. Kubra, look. Uh, we need to always look on the bright side, okay, dear? Don't get too down in the dumps, right? Exactly. I brought you something clean to wear. Daria, I have some clean clothes for you as well. The baby bag is here also. So I guess we've officially moved into the hospital, huh, girls? <laughs> Mrs. Kubra, your daughter is missing you. It's visitor time. Come on, let's get out of here, Sybil, because the daughter cries even more than her mother does. Oh, please come with me. Shh. Hey, uh, why don't you go on ahead? I'll tidy up and head over. <sighs> oh, goodness, would you look at her? She's acting well-mannered and tidy. Come on.
You're not waking up just to make me angry, right? You're just testing me. You just wanted me to go to you. You want to see if I love you. Are you stupid or blind? <sighs> Why would I treat you badly if I didn't love you? I'm not used to being in love with anyone. This is the first time that it's happened. <laughs> I was about to quit fighting back. <laughs> I wish that I'd done things differently. I wish that I'd held your hand when you asked me to and... I wish that I'd run away with you. Now I'm the one asking you, Yigit. Get up so we can leave here. Yigit, please just open your eyes. Look at me and I promise that I'll look back. Sybil? What's going on? Nothing. Are you worried about Yigit? Well, I, uh, Kubra's worried about him, but she went to go uh. check on the baby right now, so I just came to check on Yigit for her. Uh. See you later. Uh.